series we will talk about how to read the user uh, advanced reader previous uh, video we will talk about how to create uh, that kind of uh, advanced filter so this filter uh, filter data we want uh, in the user form so first of all you go to formulas and the uh, name manager i uh, created uh, one you know data to capture uh, for in a name manager so we will identify the data offset and count countdown to data for the uh, list box so here is a offset then bracket and uh, select the first cell of uh, data and then uh, uh, counter filter to a uh, one one thousand and comma to eight columns and bracket couplets. Uh, so that is the formula which I uh, you know use to list box also. So I go to developer tab and the visible basic here and create new one uh, sorry a uh, new command button here. So go to view and toolbox and toolbox uh, we will take uh, the command button here and put down here. That is view the cases okay and then mention the view the case mention here view cases okay and uh, you know increase the font and uh, change the color back color for the command button now we take uh, the green and uh, here is a font font uh, we will take the times new Roman and take it bold and font size increase then and uh, take the pound color highlighted in white okay so we can take a uh, one user form here and you know increase the size for the user form mention here the pending database pending database and take one label and Put down the title over here. Okay. Two box and take a label first and mention here the pending. Go to property windows and go to caption here and mention here pending database. Pending database. Okay. Then increase the size for label and uh, you know change the back color here we take the back color green sorry blue and uh, increase the font size and change the font color also take time in remain 9 16 and then ok and uh, you know change the color also font to highlight it white and take the center size ok then take two combo box here here is a combo box first in here and second we take here okay and then take up one command button here and mention here filter filter data okay filter data okay then we take uh, the list box here and put down here okay then change the back color also to command button highlight it uh, to, uh, to blue and change the font and change the font bold 12 and then okay that is a filter data then mention here so first of all we go to here and take a employees names so we can rectify the org employees and unique employees data we can take here so click the employees and and go to here and remove the duplicate so we will get the unique employees uh, so we can rectify the how the employee is in this shape okay so we will get this type of uh, you know uh, employees data so select here and right click on this and go to name manager and give to name okay either you can write here isn't okay so this is a name range and we can take on a combo box here so here is a row source 
select on uh, combo button and uh, you know take uh, uh, this name on create row source so we can take here agent and this data will be get here okay then <coughs> then second combo box we will take the status so row source here already i taken because uh, we take uh, the row source to <coughs> find and complete because of uh, uh, i already uh, put the you know uh, name range for the complete and paint database so here is a complete and uh, paint and hold all uh, will capture in the uh, combo box here okay so what would i would i do this I increase the little bit size for uh, the combo box and uh, you know uh, I mentioned the code here so first of all I define the uh, uh, sheet number 5 which is the filter data so dim ws as a worksheet worksheet and I set this worksheet to filter data sheets sheets and bracket filter because our data is in filter sheet here is uh, here is a filter data sheet so we can take this name okay then we mention here uh, with ws then and ws sorry and with not ws that's my mistake then i mention here dot range because our criteria is in range d3 and e3 d3 and e3 okay so i link this data to the combo box value is equal to me dot combo box i'm sorry i'm sorry combo box one dot value and then dot range is equal to sorry in bracket e three dot value is equal to me dot combo box two dot value okay then we record the advanced filter here so we can take the recorded my uh, advanced filter and call colon uh, colon here call I'm sorry call okay then when I clear this data so value has not been come into the list box so I written here if ws dot range is b6 sorry b6 dot value is equal to nothing then me dot list box one dot row source which is nothing and saying the message box no data available or no data else me dot list box one value is equal to sorry not value row source row source is equal to filter sorry not filter because uh, we given the name range here the name range would be in data so we mention the name range data here then end if complete so that is that's the code uh, which uh, helpful for we can easily track to employ what they are doing this okay then you can mention here Prasad picker and filter here so all data will be captured but column will be we can increase that so click on list and go to property window here and you know we can mention here uh, go to column count we have column 8 and column he heading heads will be true because we will get the you know column also here so when you filter the data so all data will be captured on this okay then we can take one label also here mm, go to view and uh, you know 
uh, take a toolbox and label where is label label okay and uh, we increase the size for the label so go to property window and you know increase the font size also so we can take the count how many counts in here and okay then double click on user form and take initialize option here and mention here me dot label 12 or to label 2 dot caption caption is equal to application dot work sheet functions dot subtotal worksheet function dot subtotal in bracket we can take uh, the subtotal means we can take account for the particular you know filter the data so first of all we take three here then sheets filter dot range what the range we will take the p6 v6 okay b6 to b1000 bracket complete and okay one is the missing which is the machine okay application dot okay okay and another when you run this so account will be captured okay so whenever you change the uh, employees so data automatically filter here okay and count why is count is not reflecting oh it was my mistake sorry uh, we can cut this code cut here control x and put down here okay and then you can run here okay so all data count would be we can take here no data found and zero okay no problem and then <coughs> we can take a take a uh, label to and remove the caption here so you uh, go to view and uh, go to property window and you know it is the level two here so we will get only count and here is you can mention and three and six okay so all the you know data filter data in front of you right now and then you can uh, uh, what we, you can mention here the caption whatever you do so here is a label we can put the label here first uh, here is employees names and here is uh, status so people will be understand and you know change the caption so go to view and you know increase the captions here increase means so employee name employee employee name and here is a status status okay and then you can you know change the font here and times new robin bold and nine then okay okay and here is a count so we can count take a count here to particular you know particular thing so you mention here to count okay so that kind of form we can take it and here is a name here is a complete status whatever the complete so little bit increase that means here we can take so form shows a good okay okay then prasad petkar then employee one nine six seven okay then complete then complete count not take the perfect position okay then okay then okay then you can choose the employee two and that the count will be displayed on your you know uh 
level so this is this type of uh, you know advanced filter we can take on uh, user form also so that's it and we can link this data to <coughs> to here okay so that is for my side uh, guys uh, hope uh, you understand better to how to create this type of uh, you know advanced filter on